Okay, so with time, um, my uh, tools and my toys are increasing in number. So here's my latest acquisition, uh, Beagle Bone Black. And I'm proud of my small little workstation uh, right next to my computer table at home. And here's my El Chipo soldering iron, but still sort of quality. Went with a Weller from Radio Shack. Uh, and I've never really used the the, the wool before, the uh, brass wool thing, but it works uh, fine. I mean, I haven't used it prior in prior experiences of soldering, but it works really well. And here is my Raspberry Pi with about three experiments going on and three medium tiny projects going all together at once getting familiar and uh, my Raspberry Pi is in the make enclosure uh, make is a uh, make a zine or make uh, whatever I mean they make uh, kits and they have a starter kit that I bought from Radio Shack spent more money than I would have at uh, Amazon and uh, here's my uh, breakout cable coming from um, uh, the the make uh, Raspberry Pi box and uh, this breakout cable is going into a breadboard and the breadboard has a bunch of wiring and explaining it is going to take forever uh, but so I'll keep it uh, short uh, well, here, uh, one thing to note on the breadboard are these uh, two LDRs, uh, the uh, light, uh, uh, I don't know what D stands for, I forgot, but uh, <clears throat> basically these are uh, solar cells or solar sensitive, uh, light sensitive resistors so that I'm continu continually focusing so that uh, a good image will come out of this recording uh, so do forgive me I, I just hate it when it's out of focus and blurry so uh, those two uh, LDRs are being measured individually on uh, GPI and GPIO 7 and GPIO 8 and if either one of them is, and I'm subtracting one from the other uh, the the charge time for tiny little capacitors that you sort of see right there ceramic capacitors one microfarad uh, and uh, basically the idea is that if those capacitors are charged uh, or or oh we'll get into that later but basically it it, it changes the time that those capacitors are, are take to charge depending on how much current is flowing and depending on how much light is hitting uh, the, the resistors, the LDRs, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, and uh, I'll provide a link, uh, in time I'll provide a link uh, that I used for um, uh, getting good information on the LDRs and how to construct that. There are some really good resources and people are doing some wonderful things. Uh, young people, I mean I'm getting old I think, uh, but young people. So. Here is the L2981, uh, L298N uh, motor driver uh, configuration is a little bit different uh, from what the picture was on the internet, but I, I figured it out. Uh, basically, the pinouts are going to be hard to see, but the green ones on either side, uh, and the green ones on either side, are. Uh, basically motor con uh, motor uh, leads or uh, for motor uh, wires uh, DC motor right here uh, tiny toy that I spoke of last time uh, I don't know it's not it's focusing but it's uh, the light is pretty dark uh, so apologize about that uh, so uh, it's just an iPhone camera so uh, what can you do Okay, so back to uh, L two nine eight L two nine eight N a motor driver or H bridge, a uh, bunch of transistors in that on that chip and takes in a lot of heat, so that's why the heat sink is there. Uh, there is, uh, if I can get closer, 
there the enable pin um, in input one input two enable just enables so if it's high that will enable that motor on uh, that will enable this motor and the other three are left uh, uh, are left kind of unused uh, these three are left unused because I'm not using uh, a motor uh, a second motor over here it has two voltage sources going uh, coming in one is for the board to work the other is for uh, so two two voltage sources with common ground in the middle so one is for the board to work and that's the, the this one over here although this one is 5 volt 2 I just decided to do a different one to well proof of concept one and number two it uh, the, the amount of current flowing through it may be more than what the Raspberry Pi can handle on its 5 volt um, uh, rail. So uh, what I did was, or 5 volt pin in this case, uh, even though it has its own, if I can focus right next to the uh, capacitor, uh, I think that's the voltage regulator, I could be wrong, but I think that's the voltage regulator that gives us 5 volt, but somebody might correct me, and, or maybe, maybe, maybe it's that one, I'm not sure, maybe it's that one, so I'm not sure, next to the GPIOs, okay, so, um, that's for the DC motor, uh, sorry, out of focus again, here we go, focus, Okay, I have to click on it. It doesn't autofocus. Uh, I have to tap on it with with my finger on the screen uh, of the iPhone screen in order to get it to focus. And here's my and there are some really good tutorials. Uh, Raspberry Raspberry Pi guy and, um, uh, and, and and I can't remember Gavin, uh, the Gavin guy. Oh, really good. I mean, there's a. Uh, Scottish or Irish guy. Uh, I hope I'm not offending them by not remembering what which country they're from. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's that guy. So the different people are doing really good quality job in explaining things. So I'm not going to waste anybody's time in equaling their effort and knowledge uh, in electronics. Uh, so uh, this thing over here is uh, a controller for a stepper motor. Uh, and I'm sure it has uh, a chip that everybody's talking about on the internet, but I just don't seem to be able to uh, get it to focus well enough or enough light for you to be able to see the markings. And, okay, yeah, can't see the markings. I'll read it later. But basically, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the LEDs light up uh, depending on which... Uh, control wires or GPIO wires. These are connected to GPIO. I'm trying to trace them with my finger. The, 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 these ones, the, the four coming in and into the control. And the two on the side over here are power and they are actually connected independently and they're 12 volt source. Uh, so there's another uh, uh, power adapter on my uh, thingy uh, right there. This This is the 12 volt one. That one is supplying Beagle Bone, that one. So, uh, yeah, this is the 12 volt one. And um, in here, uh, stepper motor, I've sort of uh, tilted my experiment. <laughs> Just got it yesterday and uh, couldn't wait, uh, even though it was a distraction from some other important things I was working on, but uh, still uh, went ahead and plugged it in because uh, uh, I had some really good source material, reference material that let me do it within I think um, half an hour or less um, okay and that too because I was just enjoying the experience and or those are my Walmart uh, totes that I got for putting my uh, electronic parts into and uh, PN, PNP transistors, labeling, stuff like that. Still work in progress. Uh, I've got tons of tools down in the garage, but these are the only ones that I'm using in here. Uh, again, I don't, yeah, uh, here's a motion sensor that I uh, got for, uh, here, let, let's put some, uh oh, uh, almost uh, uh, got Scooby-Doo, uh, 
unplugged there. Okay, so yeah, I'm, I want to use this and probably going to do it on uh, my beagle bone. So we'll see. Uh, and over here uh, is another one, uh, a motor shield. Uh, I what I did was I got an Arduino um, plug-in or whatever from uh, Dexter Industries, and I'll show that later. But right now it's it's in one of those tote boxes, and it's supposed to sit in on top of uh, a Raspberry a Pi, a Raspberry Pi, and uh, right on top of the GPIOs, and then. Uh, it's supposed to be able to take Arduino shields like this one, and this one has even Grove thingamajiggers. So I don't know. I'm I'm really having fun uh, over here. You could tell this one has a really good heatsink too. Uh, and these cables, by the way, I had to order them. I couldn't find them uh, at Radio Shack, and they said they won't carry them ever. But uh, uh, some flux over there. So really happy with the setup I have and basically in the end what I want to do is or when I find time uh, these uh, LDRs um, I want to uh, actually use them to change the rotation the direction of rotation uh, on uh, Scooby-Doo's airplane uh, so the, the propeller goes one way if the light is falling on one of and, and the idea is it's a proof of concept for a solar tracker so instead of buying one uh, I want to make my own uh, but uh, as you know uh, productionizing something uh, the devil is in the details uh, so it, it does get but this is a start of uh, uh, of something good and uh, again code and uh, those kind of things can follow later but right now I just wanted to uh, uh, get a, a an overlay of my current work and again nothing really important being done with BeagleBone uh, but uh, uh, just just tried the uh, UI uh, to blink the LED and that's about it for now uh, well uh, thanks for watching and enjoy let me know if you have any questions